Koki. <laughs> Warrior Koki. Um, Mongo. 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 Mm. We're gonna put it into the bigger pot. What? Yes. <laughs> Wash as well. Is that right? Oh, yes. 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 So Sherlyn's uh, brother Brian is here with us. He's gonna uh, get a couple of months of work up in the land, help us with the uh, farming, etc. So we're bringing a lot of stuff. Look at that pickup. <laughs> so much stuff. Love it. Let's go up in the land. the rain we just made it up in the land we gave Brian a tour on the area what his job is and uh, we're also picking up some cement with the truck Wah! this is old cement and uh, we're just using that for uh, the gardening area not the construction of course Ula. <laughs> oh, no, it's finished. <laughs> no Thank you, bro, Brian. Lame. Lame, <laughs> Awesome lunch. We had um, malungai, squash, ginger. Onion, garlic, oz, lovely. And now we have a uh, shipment. Steel bars, more cement. So tired after. Oops, oh, sorry, I woke you up. <laughs> tired after running, Jake. <laughs> It's like this big. What's the hammock? I love it, but Jake was trying to come up here earlier and now he okay, loves fine. it. He <laughs> loves it here. <laughs> we have a few species of uh, plants that like to grow, crawl up things. And uh, I think this is going to be perfect. Nice entrance to the garden down there. This is going to be okay because I think one meter will be deep down. Oh okay, yeah. Here, here something. That's not the full height. Yeah. Oof, what a day so far. We actually haven't filmed anything because I had about a uh, one and a half, two hour meeting with the guys that are doing the solar. So we're doing all the calculations with all the appliances the air conditions, the freezers, fridges, uh, oven, you name it, uh, pumps. So we're calculating that. Also making sure we have a big enough room for the batteries and the inverter because they're quite big. And uh, lastly, and probably one of the most important thing was figure out which part to put the panels because we have uh, four big roofs. And uh, the best way is to align them according to the sun, obviously about 8 to 10 degrees so we actually figure out one of the rows which we were planning to is not a good spot to put the panels so we figured that out with all the uh, well with the sun obviously and uh, looking at the drawings and the plans that we have in place very good meeting we're gonna go up on the roof show you guys all the work the boys have been doing on top on the beams where do we go up? Ah, uh, somewhere there. Let's okay. go. Okay. After you. Hey, Dougie. Ah, well, we'll make it our. <laughs> Wow, the view is amazing up here. Wow. It's 
So there behind us, that's gonna be my office on the second floor, about 60 square meter room. Then here, this is the sun deck or a view top area. And I can tell this is gonna be amazing up here. Wow. This is the post for the ah, dragon post. post. Yeah. Okay, okay. So one tree is one post, or do you use how uh, many? I think maybe three uh, dragon post. Three of this for yes. one. Eight. How, how wide is that? One point. One point eight feet. Okay. Let's measure the arc. So this is where the arc is going to be as far as we can go with the material we have. Kuya bro Brian just made some uh, chicken adobo. Good. And he's gonna make like a small wood. dirty kitchen here. Use the wood. Mm. So good. So bright. <laughs> <laughs> so my brother will stay here. No split, Brian. Nice. No split? No same with me in Pisea, I get no split too. Same step. We're the same. Dad. Workers are going home. Dad. It's the day after we were so busy with the electrician guy and the solar calculating all the numbers, how many voltage, how many kilowatts we need to run all of the systems and appliances. That we didn't film much but anyways i want to show you guys an update about the area that we're living you remember we were talking about they're gonna build a big port it's monstrous the beautiful tree is gone <laughs> the bridge is gone or the pier and instead they got this massive project going on here right in front of our place this was not a good design because it's already blocking a lot of the debris that comes down with the mountain. So in the future here, this is all gonna overflow in the whole area unless they change this bridge. Because the, in the bridge they put like a, I just don't understand the design. It's already blocking everything. This is supposed to be like 1.5 meter deep. Here. Anyways, um, we gotta go to the city today. I have a meeting with my accountant and business partners boring stuff so maybe cut through that then I will see you guys up in the mountain what is this I don't know even know <laughs> this is for the dragon food very exciting yes. the more the merrier have you seen the post? I'll show you the post. Camote! Uh, Camote! Yes, one more. It's for the dragon fruit now. That's the post. It's mm -hmm. the top of the dragon fruit. It's the top of the post. 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 Five more. So we got ten total. We'll start with that. Uh, my opinion, we made it slightly too thick, so next time we can make it uh, slightly thinner, easier to carry. But these are very strong and they're gonna last forever. And we're gonna put them in one spot above the house in the flat area, and then in the future, if we wanna move them around, it's pretty easy. You just wiggle them, loosen them up, pick them up, move them to another spot. So these will last forever, but obviously a bit more expensive to use. Uh, cement and steel 
instead of uh, wood or something but this is much much better of course to use for long term for young I have it last forever I feel like it's growing slowly. Whoa, look at this guy. <laughs> How do you see him? Open up. Hello. He's massive. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's huge. Hello. How are you? What's up, bro? Yeah, I feel like the Talisay is a bit low. I don't know. Anyways, uh, let me show you guys our arc. How beautiful is that? Yeah, go shut it there. Be careful, walk slowly. Yeah, because it's mm. still painful. Yeah. But it's been about a month now. Yes. Month since surgery, so it's coming good. Healing, but still pain. That's normal with all the swelling. When we're coming here, I have three pills with me. <laughs> Put in beside in the seat. Covering. I have also the girdle on me so no more bouncy much. Here's the neem tree already planted for a few days or maybe two weeks and a fun fact about this one this tree produces the most amount of leaves of any tree species on the planet. Not only that it is high in chemicals that serve humanity for thousands of years for healing wounds and even a tea. Some People even eat this one, it gives them some stimulation from the leaf. So it's very chemical <laughs> to say the least, but not, nothing illegal. Additionally, with all the leaves that spawn on it, when they drop, they actually fertilize the soil. So having this tree in this farming area is awesome because once these crops are done and all of these leaves are around, you know, natural fertilizer. Old camote. We also got some sweet corn in between. Wow. And voila, here we got our arc, beautiful one. As we come down the reinforcement wall, over here, we can enter the arc before we go into the garden area. Probably put the berries up first that like to grow upwards and attach to something as well maybe some cantaloupes I think it's ready I know I saw a video of the cantaloupes you're supposed to pick them when you see a slight hint of yellowish in it but we don't have it any bags wrapped around it so I want to avoid any worms eating it so let's try let's try let's take it up <laughs> First get the love. Now we just have to wait a few days and we can try it. it. Awesome. <laughs> Much smaller than I thought. Let's see if we can grow them bigger. You guys remember me talking about this flower and how it's gonna have a lot of bees and then pollinate the area? It's working. We got some bees. Wow. Wow. What happened? I removed it. Wow! Yeah. I think it's almost there. It's not. It's still super like a stone. Yeah, that's how it is normally. Bro. And then you gotta let it stay Bro. for a few days. Stay for it. Oh, this is yours. Oh, what have we got there, Brad? Mm. This is yours. Ooh! Mungo. Mm. Ah, mungo. Mm. For you. Thank you. And then... For, for workers. <laughs> What's for work this? Mango. That looks like fat. Mm -hmm. Boiled fat. What's my lot? What do you get, baby? Yeah. Mango. Mango mm. soup with squash. Eggplant. Another eggplant. Yeah, it looks like eggplant. Looks nice. I'm oh, sorry, Jake. No, stay there. <laughs> Mm. 
So these ones we're gonna put in the arc first. What kind of berries are these? The blue? Uh, the the green, the, the green one is the seedless and then the red one. I just realized we haven't uh, showed you guys the dirty kitchen we're making. It's already cemented, so just waiting for it to dry. Oh, it's cemented there. Yeah. Okay. Just wait for it to dry, and then when it's dry already, and they're just gonna put it back here in the top. Just squats it. Flower. Just squats as flower. Oh yeah! Look at that. Wow. This is where we're gonna put the grapes because we've noticed in the past month or two that here you always have a moist area from all the rainwater draining through the soil so it's perfect to put water heavy plants that need a lot of watering so this is absolutely perfect spot to put it here on the outside and then it grows yeah I think on the outside maybe it goes in between let's see We did it! <laughs> We're so sweaty. <laughs> Berry trees. One, two, three. <laughs> Beans almost done. The boys are doing such a good job. Uh, they're doing now uh, the final part of the beam. I would say maybe one third, one fourth of that is left. Then in about two weeks or so, we bring uh, steel plates and uh, another version of binding steels and cement for the roof. And actually some of them uh, stay overnight here as well. They, they enjoy it, they have a place to sleep, protection, kitchen, Brian's cooking. They enjoy it quite a bit. No problem with that, it's awesome. And they're taking advantage of the land, which is good. Planting, they can harvest whatever this land produces. It's great to see that. That machine they're using there is basically to eliminate any bubbles in the cement. Almost like a compressor, but uh, shaking up everything. Very good. We're actually trimming the trees. So we're opening up the space even more for apple. We're not taking the trees, we're just trimming them. Same with these two over there. We're gonna trim in probably tomorrow. And the beans, almost there. It's beautiful tonight, Jake. Yeah, sunset, and then you're gonna get some food. You want some food? You want some food? Okay, you wanna get some food? Then we have to go home. And we're ending off the day here in Pura Vida. Look at this sunset, what a beautiful scene. And uh, we've also been uh, preparing for the last couple of days for a big group from the US. It's called Kitsi Camp. Uh, it's uh, over 30 people coming here and uh, it's a big special event with this group. Even uh, they get greeted in the airport by the uh, DOT. Like it's, a, it's really a amazing time, you know. So we've been uh, serving them all the boats, the diving, and uh, doing a lot of preparation. So that's also what's going on in my life, is uh, the diving industry. Uh, takes up some time, but we're sorting everything out. And like I said, this is the year of construction and building. And then uh, we'll go full blast next year when everything is in motion. But look at this, guys. It's just absolutely gorgeous tonight. Beautiful. Oh, and by the way, we're preparing for a festival also in the morning. Until next time, peace out.